Carlene, we've been talking about the warm up that's coming our way this weekend for Christmas. What's it going to look like out there? If, I, if you've been hearing me talk about, why are you asking? Because it's your job. <laughs> I just want to give him. <laughs> Girl, you got on my case um, yep. during the four I because I was talking about I I've know. been listening to you all week about this warm up, and now you want me on my case? Cause I'm going to be on your case no matter what. You're already on a naughty <laughs> list. I'm just trying to keep it going. This is true. This is Show true. Show is. Mm -hmm. No, we are talking about that warm up. That's going to be on Christmas Day. So temperatures are running warmer than usual. That's when we're expecting the peak of it. It's not happening yet. We were a little above seasonal today, a little bit of a dip by tomorrow, but it's more by this weekend that you're going to be feeling the heat because we're talking about the 70s along the coast. Also, 80s returning to inland areas. It's going to be toasty out there. So taking a look at current temperature for downtown you're at 58 degrees calm winds also relative humidity is at 65 percent so over the next few days we had today being the winter solstice we had a bump up in temperatures and then by tomorrow morning that's when we'll have those king tides rolling in that will be in the morning hours on thursday friday saturday and sunday and that's also going to coincide with elevated surf so then we're going to be dealing with some minor beach flooding by this weekend also talking about toasty temperatures expected for the forecast for this weekend for Christmas. As I mentioned before the break, this isn't the first time that we've been in the 70s when it comes to temperatures for Christmas Day. We had that back in 2020 and we're expecting a high a couple degrees warmer. So that was at 73 back in 2020, about 75 degrees expected, and that would be for downtown. The record stands at 81, so we're not talking record heat. We're talking about being warmer than usual. When you take a look at your surf forecast, about one to three feet, also a low risk of rip currents at our local beaches. So the main impact when it does come to the tide changes and that extra pull when it is uh, the high tides in the morning hours are going to be for the next couple of uh, mornings, as I mentioned. So we're talking about up to about 6.8 feet. That's around 725 for tomorrow morning. But on the flip side, a great time to go out and check out the tide pools in the afternoon hours. So we're going to have that low tide and the negative 1.5 feet, and that's going to be in the afternoon hours. As I mentioned, this will keep going all the way into Sunday. Also something else to be mindful of is we do have a beach hazard statement that has been issued. So the highest tides expected on Friday morning and Saturday morning and also coinciding with those uh, uh, the elevated surf about three to five feet. When you take a look at your eight day microclimate forecast, you're looking at some toasty temperatures that take us into the weekend and start up next week, but then we start to back off. So we will have a chance for showers in the forecast yet again. That looks to be by the middle of next week and also on Thursday. John?